Okay, so I want to run quickly through an intersection question where we want to find the coordinates of the points of intersection. In this case, what we're given is a parabola having an equation of x squared equals to 2y minus 1 fourth is intersected by a straight line whose equation is x plus 2y equals to 1. So we have a linear equation, it's a straight line. And we want to find the coordinates of the points of intersection. Essentially here, if we draw a picture, I'll denote my x-axis. I'll denote my y-axis. And let me draw the parabola. So if I draw the parabola, then we're going to have some line. And it's going to be negative. It's a negative slope. If you solve for y, we have a negative slope. We have some line that intersects. And what we want to find in this question is these points, the points of intersection. And in order to do that, the first step is to extract the equation for the parabola. We know it's x squared equals to 2y minus 1 fourth. So let's write that down. It's x squared equals to 2y minus 1 over 4. Then what we're going to do is we're going to set all of this equals to equal to 0. So solving all of this equal to 0, we'll have 0 on one side. So what we get is x squared minus 2y plus 1 over 4 equals to 0. Then we know we can relate the y in this equation to the y of the straight line to the to this y so this is from the let me just denote this column as the parabola and all for the straight line just call it line the equations x plus 2y equals to 1 I can solve for y here <coughs> and I can say y is going to equal to 1 minus x. All of that is divided by 2. So that's our y. So what we're going to do is take this y and plug it in here. So doing exactly just that, we're going to take the y, plug it in this y. What we get for the parabola side is x squared minus 2 times 1 minus x divided by 2 plus 1 fourth equals to 0. So what I see here is these two cancel. The 2's cancel. So what we get here is x squared minus 1 minus x Put this in parentheses plus one fourth equals to zero and what we have here is a quadratic equation because this is going to be x squared minus one we distribute the one to the to the negative to the one so it's negative one we distribute the negative to the x negative times the negative is a positive x plus one fourth equals to zero we combine negative one plus 1 over 4, you get negative 3 over 4. So it's x squared plus x minus 3 over 4 equals to 0. So, so we apply the quadratic equation, x equals negative b plus and minus square root, b squared minus 4 ac, all of that is divided by 2a. So x equals negative b, b in this case is 1, right? There's a 1 here. So it's negative 1 plus and minus square root b squared. So it's negative 1 squared minus 4a. a is what? It's just 1. Put 1 here. And c is negative 3 over 4. All of this is divided by 2 times a, which is 1. So here we can solve for x. You should get two values. You can use the calculator or you can do it by hand. For the FE, we want to use the calculator. 
using to solve the quadratic equation you just go i'm using the ti 36x pro you just go to the poly solve so you go second poly solve click on number one plug in your a b and c values and you should extract get an output for the x values and i got for the x values to be negative three over two as one x value and the other x value I got to be one half. So we have negative three over two for one x value, one half for the other x value, and now we just need the y values for these x values. So the y values can be simply arrived at by plugging in the x values here, or we can plug in the x values in here. You can plug in the x values here, you can plug in the x values here, and you can solve for y so when we plug in the x value of negative 3 over 2 in the above equation you should get y to equal to 5 over 4 and if we plug in x to be 1 half you should get y to equal to 1 over 4 so we just found the points of intersection here so this is one solution let me circle that and this is the other intersection point and basically we can go above here so we denote this as one solution so this might be this is just approximation the negative 3 over 2 comma 1 half and this is going to be the other solution where they both intersect it's going to be the 1 over 2 over comma 1 over 4 and our correct answer based on these should be I believe negative 3 sorry this one negative 3 over 2 5 over 4 yeah not 1 half so this is 5 over 4 so our right answer that's right, one half, one fourth. Yeah, it should be A. So these are wrong, and I hope that helps. Let me know if you have questions. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.